Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you clicked on this video, you obviously want to know how to make a music video using the Canon M50, so let's just jump right into it. Today, I'm going to be shooting a music video for a local artist named Sloan. He's also my friend. We've collaborated together in the past. The process usually involves him sending me the song that he wants to make the video for, and then he sends me a general idea of what he wants to be in the video, and I work with that, and I make suggestions. It's a pretty collaborative process. For this video, I was shooting on my Canon M50. I shot this in 1080p. I'm upscaling it to 4K. The reason I do that is because there is a lot of movement and I don't really want to be touching the lens to be manually focusing. So I just use the autofocus in 1080p. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I shot this in a neutral picture profile. Um, I don't really do any heavy color grading because this is an 8-bit image. I try to get the colors as close in camera as possible and then I do very minimal color correction in post-production. Guys, when you're shooting these music videos, you just want to get as many variations and as much movement in these shots as possible because when you're editing, it just helps you put it all together. And I would apply that to every little scene that you do. So every little location that you go to, I would get several takes of, of different angles from each location or each little shot so for this video in particular he had the idea of, of something with driving around in a car so I took that and I was like hey let's go utilize this beautiful skyline we have shot here before but I wanted to shoot shoot it from a different angle and a different time of day um, just so it would get a, a different look and a different feel. So that's what we're doing. We came to the top of this hill in Butler Park. So I did uh, a couple of different takes. You know, I did a wide and then I would do some uh, lateral movement left to right. Then I did another wide, but instead this time I was doing more like dolly shots, like pushing in towards him and then away from him. After we got those performances, we did some walking shots of him, just like walking around the park. I wanted to just get these like random shots that, you know, I could throw into the video if I needed to. Then I had the idea of filming him uh, just walking and I was gonna be doing like some 360s and different movements around him. Basically like a walk and talk, but in this case it would be a walk and rap. We made our way to this covered area that had these like really tall glass windows that you could see his reflection in. And so he came up with this idea like record my reflection and then maybe you could you know pan over to me. So we did that and we we're just coming up with little uh, ideas and impromptu shots on the fly. Then we were in this general area. There is a park bench over here so i was like hey you know it'd be cool if you're just laying down on the bench like chilling and i can get some overhead shots of you performing so we did that and i think it worked out really well there's a very distinct shot in my mind of the camera essentially on the gimbal um, just moving along the pavement and then slowly uh, tilting up and then we see Sloan and the camera starts to like 360 around him as he gets in this vehicle that was a very distinct shot and I, I had to make sure we got that and we did it took about two tries I believe the cool thing with music videos is that I really don't have to record audio because it's gonna be the song right so I don't have to worry about any diegetic sounds or anything in the background because it, the music's gonna be playing right it's, it's just very visual I'm just very focused on on the shots and uh, camera movement. I gotta give a special shout out to my friend Esteban Salazar aka Let's Go Stevie. He's the one that did all the behind the scenes video footage for me. Thank you very much. Um, go check out his content. I'm gonna have his YouTube channel and his TikTok linked below so go give him a follow. One of the last shots we got in this area was him driving around. Once we, we got everything I was like okay let's get in the car. This was very basic. I had the gimbal just so it, it could it can steady the camera while we're in there because you know when you're driving in a car there's going to be a lot of bumps and a lot of movement so i felt like the gimbal would do a good job of stabilizing the shot in the car and i think it did um, and then after the car shot we decided to go to a parking garage and shoot up there but when we got up there i didn't realize that it was going to have an amazing view so you know we had to utilize that and i think it worked with the video because the skyline's in the background in this shot and then we we still have it in the other one so it kind of matches the, the theme of the video. I use the shoulder rig to get some shots and I just really like using the shoulder rig for the handheld movement because it, it does add some stability to the camera but it also allows me the freedom to tilt up, tilt down, pan left, pan right, 
you know do any kind of movement with the camera as opposed to the gimbal because the gimbal is a little has a little more finesse to it i really do enjoy shooting handheld footage with a little shoulder rig that is gonna be it we we wrapped the video on the parking garage at the alamo draft house in south austin texas all right guys that's gonna be the end of the video thank you for watching i hope you were able to take something away that's gonna help you on your video production if you have any questions just leave me a comment i love answering any and all video production questions and if you like the channel you know subscribe stick around why not right uh thanks again guys and i'll see you on the next one bye